so you've taken this show obviously you've had a, this huge career with this theme of this show but you've actually brought it into real life beyond just entertainment you know you've got the the micro is it the micro foundation micro works yeah. micro works exactly where you go find people who want to work hard and want to learn a trade and they want they want to go do it but they need a little bump to get them up in that school and you're giving out grants to people around this country to help yeah. them get started yeah uh we started in 2008 on labor day uh dirty jobs was in its prime micro works started as a um, as a pr campaign for opportunity and it, it grew into a trade resource center for people that wanted to pursue those kinds of careers today it's a scholarship fund we award work ethic scholarships. We do a million bucks a year, small by foundation standards, but we've assisted nearly 1,500 people now. Wow. Uh, so welders, steam fitters, pipe fitters, construction trades, you know, if, if, it's a, if it's a job that requires training and you can jump through the hoops, because I got hoops, right? Oh, I'm sure. The first question was, well, what's already out there? We've got academic scholarships. We've got athletic scholarships. We have artistic scholarships. Mm -hmm. All those boxes are checked. Work ethic. Tell me about the kid who is willing to show up early, stay late, learn a skill that's in demand, and travel to where the work is. And I'll show you. You're right. We have welders, many welders, who have gone through uh, our program who are making six figures a year. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. It's great to meet you. Hey. In the skills gap, we have opportunity. And one of the opportunities that existed is one that you filled. So I just wanted to come by and thank you on behalf of MicroWorks for helping close the skills gap. In other words, thanks for saving the country. Tell me what the sweat pledge is. The sweat pledge is just one of the hoops you have to jump through if you're going to apply for a work ethic scholarship from MicroWorks Foundation. It's right. simple. It's basically 12 statements that I believe exist in every successful person I've, I've ever met. So it's like the 12 commandments of micro. Yeah, it's a combination of the Boy Scout law, the 10 commandments, the 12 step process, <laughs> right? It's just a right. statement of belief, right? Yeah. And some of them are controversial. I don't think they're controversial, but you know, like the first one for instance says, uh, I believe I have won the greatest lottery of all time. I'm alive, I walk the earth. I live in America. Above all things, I'm grateful. Now, if you don't agree with me... Is that controversial, anything you just said? Ask around, dude. Of course it's controversial. That's the problem. That of course should not it's be controversial. controversial to anyone. Pledge number six says, I believe that my safety is my responsibility. That's controversial. I hear every year from people who feel like, I'm not going to sign the sweat pledge because this, 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 and this. And I say, look, that's okay. But conversely, this particular pile of free money might not be for you. And we, right. we can all just get on with our life, right? <laughs> it's, designed, it's designed to stimulate a conversation around four basic things. Work ethic, personal responsibility, delayed gratification, and a positive attitude. I know that sounds like a bunch of happy horse crap. <laughs> it worked for me. I know yeah. it worked for you. Absolutely. And I know it's still for sale. Sweat, by the way, stands for skills and work ethic aren't taboo. I wrote it one night after some liquid refreshment because I wanted to try and articulate those things that that mattered to me. Well, the sweat pledge has turned into a, a, a curriculum. It's now in a, a pilot program in about 30 different trade schools. Wow. My last question for you is, Mike Rowe, how has the right to pursue happiness changed your life? It hasn't. It's the finding. It's the whole deal, dude. It's the whole deal. The right to fail, the right to succeed, the right to try. If I did one smart thing in my whole dumpster fire of a career, it was dirty jobs. It was stepping back and getting out of the way and letting the viewer see me fail. It wasn't the failure. It wasn't the failure that mattered. It was the trying. I was paid to try, mm -hmm. not succeed. And for 20 years before that, my whole deal was success means getting it right. That's a trap. Success means trying. Absolutely.
God bless you. Back at you. Much more success to you, sir. I'll take it. All right, brother.